Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm going to show you how to change coil packs in your car. So, just to let you know that you need to find a coil pack which is exactly what you have on in your car. So I suggest before you start checking the GM number or a pass number, just try to remove it first and check the shape because uh, this is what happened to me. I did buy a coil pack you can see same number it says that it fits the car which I was gonna change but uh, at the end it did not fit so it's very important to check I mean uh, to compare when you know when you search online so just get exactly the same the same shape of the coil pack all right guys so I'm gonna use the t40 uh, which you can get it for maybe you can get eight of these for only two pounds and then I'm gonna use my uh, screwdriver to remove it but uh, the first things you wanna use a t40 manual before you use any any equipment right that's it and uh, you need to remove this electric connector remember uh, when you are watching this video you have seen me removing the battery uh, terminal this is very important you can do it without it but I recommend remove the battery pa uh, terminal so it is the first time I'm changing the coil pack you can see the shape here as I said these shapes is completely different from what I have bought and when I tried it it didn't start so it looks like uh, it has to be exactly the same even if I've seen YouTube video and I ask this guy why yours are two different shape and uh, he just say he doesn't know as long as it fit and uh, it worked so I suggest that you find exact uh, exact shape so by the look of it this might have been changed before because usually there are different color on top and you can see the part number like a GM and other things now I'm gonna change the plug because this had a misfire and it shows like it it is number four I mean a uh, uh, misfiring number four so I'm gonna remove each one although in this video I'm just gonna show you only one because I had some in, uh, disruption here someone came and started asking me a lot of questions about if I'm I am a mechanic and things like that is my neighbor anyway he was a nice guy so uh, instead of me doing my my work I started talking to this guy he was nice he was a nice guy and it was the first time I'm anyway since being in this uh, in this area he's new here and uh, I've been here about three years uh, but we've never talked so for the spark plug uh, you wanna use a 5.8 and uh, some extension you can also pick it up uh, for two pound or three pound I bought mine from Amazon and it was delivered a second day for three pounds but I got like a uh, four socket together so uh, that's a good buy as well they are very cheap okay so uh, I'm gonna remove each plug and uh, then replace them so uh, for four of them this spark plug I bought for nine pound ninety nine let's say ten pound they are bought and the part number as you can see they are uh, at the bottom of the screen also they were delivered on the second day I mean you could get them cheaper maybe four pound five pound but uh, I went with the boss one and uh, because it's a prime delivery it's gonna be second day so I didn't have time to go around you know so I was waiting for for it to be delivered on the second day so guys now I'm gonna pretend as if uh, this is the new coil pack but it was not the new pack it was the same one so you see this is the mistake this is what I bought before they have the same part number so when I installed it see I installed it before and the car wouldn't start so ignore this part I mean but I'm just gonna show you how to install it right so boom everything fits connection electrical connectors and everything and put everything back but when it started it did not start so I had to remove it again and uh, install the old one 
So I'm gonna show you a video which I got from YouTube and this guy uh, inspired me and I thought it's gonna fit anyway because uh, mine came from China and uh, when I asked this guy to take it back it didn't fit and he was telling me I'm gonna give you a discount A, B, C, D. So s watch this video and see this, these uh, coil packs are completely different. Now you can see the coil boots, the shape and now look what he replaced. The new one and I bet you can guess what to do next so guys that's just to give you an idea and uh, we have uh, finished everything and I'm gonna put everything back now I'm going to replace the electric connector for uh, I mean the b battery terminal and that's it so after I have done this although that I have not changed the coil pack but the car is okay now it's not misfiring and I'm gonna take it about 500 miles because I'm gonna travel soon so let's see if uh, this is gonna I mean if I'm gonna have any issues now it's time to replace the battery terminal and uh, check the car so despite of not having changed the coil pack as I said the car is working and it's not misfiring the only thing I have is engine light and we can't turn it off because it's something to do with the map sensor I think because oxygen sensor we have replaced it and uh, I'm not getting enough mileage so I get like 20 miles per hour so uh, per gallon sorry so guys thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe